The Flames christen their new arena with a win, 78-62 over St. Francis on Thursday night. Alongside Paul Nazgan, I'm Matt Warner. Naz, first time in a new building. Nice to go ahead and get your first W out of the way. Liberty able to get it done, third win of the season. Yeah, it wasn't pretty at times, yeah. but uh, you know sometimes you just got to kind of gut it out and uh, things will fall into place, and Liberty did exactly that. Take a look at the highlights from this one in the first half. You know, we came in talking about Liberty shooting the three ball. Really, that part of the game wasn't going for him in the first half, but they found other ways. Yeah, ball movement, and then they really went off the dribble. You saw Parker take it to the rim a number of times. Other guys sometimes penetrate to pass. Found some success there. And in the mid-range game, something you don't yeah. hear a lot of. When the threes weren't falling, guys got the 15-foot range and, and had some success there as well. Blake Preston, 7.7 rebounds. Solid night for him. And how about right before the halftime buzzer to beat the buzzer, Drake Dobbs half-court Eve. Yeah, things were really sluggish, and they it's kind of funny. Something like that, just a crazy shot. Really kind of gave him a spark coming out of the locker room second in the second half. half. Yeah, second half, and really throughout the night, Keegan McDowell, the yes. offensive story for the Flames, a career night for McDowell 21 points 507 from three-point range so good to see him playing top of it yeah and really it was the first half he was one of those guys that got himself going from the mid range yeah. we saw him hit a couple 15 footers but second half he was just lights out from three they really needed him man we just we raved about him all night just played like a veteran so three and two now on the season heading into Bluefield on Saturday maybe biggest area you feel like okay Flames need to make an adjustment here or get better in this area from seeing them tonight yeah you know we talked a lot about the threes but I yeah. know what they're saying in this locker room right now defense you got to tighten it down there's still a lot to improve we talked about some of the new guys learning the pack line it's difficult it's intricate that's what they're going to be focusing on the next 48 hours also kind of a quiet night for Darius McGee I'd wager that's not going to last <laughs> long. We'll see Saturday right. when the Flames host Bluefield. That game tips off at noon.